what we were looking for at the Fuji Sosono plant. By now, everyone at Yakult loved us, so we had to take them up on their offer to visit the home of Yakult worldwide. One thing we weren't expecting was the reception we got when we walked into the office. We were given a great introduction to the staff, but the Japanese were having some troubles with the pronunciation of Jake's name. <laughs> the Japanese people are so warm and welcoming. However, they might be a bit confused about what game we play. Uh, your rugby team is very, very famous and very popular and uh, the best team. Yes. Once the formalities were finished, the staff were allowed to personally come and meet us. The men were keen to get straight back to work. The girls, on the other hand... Yumi, how are you? Good. Hello, nice to meet you. We were lucky enough to meet Mr. Kawabata, the number three man in all of Yakult worldwide. Mr. Kawabata is a very busy man, but he found some time to chat to us about Yakult and his much loved Essendon Bombers. He even gave her a mention. Uh, sincere appreciation to all of uh, members of the uh, Essendon team to uh, cooperate our activity as well as uh, drinking beer cook. Mm. When Mr. James Hurd led the delegation to visit us in 2004, it seems natural that we would become involved in supporting Australia rules football via the Ascendant Football Club. Uh, our biotechnology cosmetics yeah. and uh, also career. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All this keeping up of international relations was making us hungry. We decided to head out and find a traditional Japanese meal. But it's not like the streets of Essendon around here. Over 12 million people live in Tokyo alone and they're all in a hurry. We didn't know Angus Monfrey's boy band was such a big hit in Japan. <laughs>